Brilliant. Hi, I'm Kerry. I'm the chair of the Labour Society. Today we have Eddie Azad with us to talk about anything you want to ask him, anything he wishes to talk about. It could be political, it could be about his marathons, his involvement with anything. <laughs> Uh, so he's going to speak first and then I'll take three questions at a time and then he'll answer three, etc, etc. I'm not sure where to stand when you do this. I am, I'm new to politics, ladies and gentlemen, so is that better? <laughs> it feels like it's slightly blocked there. Um, oh, is this where they stand when they do the lectures? Yeah. yeah. They stand? All right. <laughs> so, I won't do a long, uh, boring speech, maybe a short, boring speech. That would be uh, better. Obviously, I'm here to talk about the uh, mayor's, uh, the mayoral election. Anyone knows? You know. Is it the mayoral election? Mayoral. I don't know. Mayoral? Mayoral. Yeah, mayoral. Mayoral. Anyone else? <laughs> the mayor's election. The election for mayor. And of course, uh, there, are, there is uh, candidates from all parties. I am here to encourage you to vote for Ken Livingstone on the 3rd of May. Boris Johnson is, of course, there, but uh, as I've said b before, and I've been saying as I'm going around talking to people, I do, I do worry with Boris that Boris, and even people in the Tory party, I think, worry that the first thing on Boris Johnson's mind is not London, it's Boris Johnson. <laughs> I have talked to people who have talked to him and just said he's just... He is very much into himself. Now, ego, of course, is involved in politics, but I just worry that that is his first thing on his mind. The second thing on his mind, of course, is a quarter of a million he gets from the Daily Telegraph, and then um, London comes third. And yes, he is fun, and he jokes, and he's got, he goes around. I do that kind of stuff too, but I just think Ken always puts London first, and he will, uh, he has promised to cut the fares by 7% by October. Now people say, some people have said, apparently they've done polling on this, and people have said, oh yeah, you say you're going to cut it, but you're not going to cut it. He says he will resign if he doesn't cut the fares by 7% by this October, October this year, which will save all you students, all people in London, a thousand pounds over the next four years. So he's just, he's going to do this. And the money is there, and they say the money is there, but the money is there, he'll make it work. So that is why I encourage you to vote. Above all, there's, there's other reasons, but that's the one that's really going to affect students. And you know your students, I was a student, there's a lot of people who don't want to vote. If you are energised by this, if you would like to save the money, you've just got to vote on the 3rd of May and drag your friends down there. It's not that hard, uh, but it, it is just there. It is quite a simple thing to do. But the, the trouble with all politics is trying to set a vision up, because you guys... You will be the future of the world, and you guys can change it. And right now, it probably looks like a million miles away, and it also looks probably incredibly boring, but you guys are actually sitting here, so you're probably quite motivated. But you can see the politicians don't really get in touch with students. But I, I was a student. I was in the Students' Union at Sheffield University, and there's a great power. You people, because you're here, because you care, you will change things. You are the people who gone. The other people who didn't turn up, they're all going to die. <laughs> it's, it's you guys. Now, honestly, because when I was at Sheffield, the people who weren't in, active in the students' union, they just, I don't know what they did. They just went off and became ballast somewhere in some sort of engine thing, because they just didn't even seem to be switched on at all. They didn't even seem to know they were alive. At least you people know you're alive. You're there, you care, even which, no matter which way you're voting. You care about a future. And we can change the world. And I do do gigs in French, and I have played Madison Square Garden and, and Hollywood Bowl, and I can run 43 marathons, not because I am different to you, but just because I was determined. And you can choose. You could do anything that I have done. You could all do it. And I challenge you to do it. And, and I'm British, and sometimes you say, oh, this, this Japanese guy did this, or this thing. Like, we can do this stuff. We used to do this stuff in the old days, in the 1800s, but we tended to invade people's countries and steal all their stuff, which was a Tory policy, I do believe. But I don't know. Um, so that's why I go. So, so anyway, go vote, be active, whatever you do, no matter which party, give a damn about yourself, because ego is important, but also give other people a, a help up, which is why I say... You know, it's, uh, it's Lib Dem, it's centre-left, it's Labour, and I tend to go against the Tory party. Apologies to you about when we talked about this earlier, but I encourage you not to be in the Tory party. But uh, if you can change the Tory party and make it more like, like our party, that's fine. I don't mind. It's one or the other. So, 
So these are the options out there. 3rd of May, this is the one. And, uh, and also, uh, Ken did fight very hard for the Olympics. He's not really a sporty person. And Boris is a very sporty person. But, um, but Ken did fight very hard for the Olympics. And so it would be nice to have him there when the Olympics actually come back. So anyway, that's it. Ask me any questions. I can't go into in-depth policy about uh, Ken's uh, things. But you can ask me anything you want. And I'll try and answer it as I can. Thank you. Okay,